Hey guys, welcome back to the Hearsy channel, Ty Hears here, I hope you had a fantastic week. The way I would call this video is a day late, a pound short kind of situation. It's been a while, it's been like almost four years, four plus years I think, since the original cast of Hamilton wrapped up their performance on Broadway, yet I'm just now talking about it. And why? Of course because of Disney+. Plus. We finally have the actual recording of one of their final performances on Disney+. Plus. And since it was released, I might have watched it like five times, watched and listened to the album. Let's balance it out. And I think there are three amazing songs there that have way deeper meaning than many other people thought of. And in today's video, I want to talk about specifically how Lin-Manuel Miranda came up with Hamilton, why I appreciate him so much for all the hard work he invested into it, and how those three simple songs can inspire you to make a better work of yourself and of your future. Let's do this! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. I frequently tell stories about inspirational people, some of them are very popular, some of them are not really, and for some of them I'm picking a very specific item in their life or in their project that no one else is talking about. In this case, if you're interested to learn more about those kind of people, check out the playlist over here and at the end of the video in the card. And when it comes to Lin-Manuel Miranda, he's perfectly matched against that list. First of all, he's the hardest working people out there and now probably one of the busiest working people in Hollywood. On top of that, I think thanks to him and his work on Hamilton, A, we get to enjoy the story of one of the founding fathers of the United States from a completely new perspective, from the modern day perspective, yet respecting the facts and the true nature of his life. And B, we get to see what happens when someone invests them all over the few years of time to build their dream project. Just imagine the timeline, picture it. 2004, 16 years ago, 1-6. Lin-Manuel Miranda reads a book about Alexander Hamilton and he gets so inspired by his story and so surprised that not as many people are familiar with his personal life that he wants to reimagine it as a musical. 2004 is when he starts it, 2015 is when we get to enjoy it and only six years later is essentially today when I get to record and talk about my experience from watching the recording of that show on Disney+. Plus. And I'm not even a musical guy. I honestly would roll my eyes at musicals, yet I think the combination of the story, the performances, the powerful lyrics, the powerful beats in every song, all of it together truly made me fall in love with this project. And to show my appreciation for this project, I'll deep dive on three of my favorite songs, because they, I think they also happen to be those three songs that carry a deeper meaning that many people understand when they first watch the musical. So I want you to go rewatch them after this video and really pay attention to every single lyric that Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote. He wanted to inspire us and now I, through dissecting those three songs, I want to inspire you to achieve something of similar. Maybe you are on the verge of creating something that will become that kind of force majeure, that phenomenon that everyone else will be fan of and get inspired by going forward. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. The first song that we're revisiting is My Shot. It only makes sense in the whole entire world to start with a song that truly introduces the essence of who Alexander Hamilton was. I'm not throwing away my shot. Hey yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy and hungry. I'm not throwing away my shot. These lyrics are the epitome of who Alexander Hamilton was and how important it was for him to take every single opportunity that presented himself. That is why I also don't get people who are afraid of taking a chance, rolling the dice on themselves, so to speak. At the end of the day, we do not get as many opportunities as we think we do. So letting that hesitation, that fear of failure stop you from doing something just boggles my mind. If you really think about it, what is the worst case scenario? You're gonna fail? Well, all of us do multiple times. All of us will fail multiple times going forward. Oh, you're afraid what it's gonna look like in the future? Well, if you are right over here at the base level and you attempt to get a little bit higher and you fail, the furthest you're gonna most likely fall down is exactly the same level. So you might as well try and 
the try might yield you the next level and then you move on and on and on further up on that ladder whether it's a career it's a project it's a business it's a personal life whatever you're working on it always makes sense to take that shot it never makes sense to be afraid of it at the end of the day be like a surfer the surfers every time risk getting tumbled getting wiped out but yet they all do it for that moment of riding at the top of the wave and feeling that you're in control of that force of nature and the same can be applied to you when you're working on something you can take control of it you can ride that wave you can fail on the path to riding that wave multiple times over but at the end of the day that's the nature of life for us every single time we will be further away from success further away from being good at something when we do not take an opportunity an attempt to be better so go and get it ladies and gentlemen welcome to the show the second song we're revisiting, History Has Its Eyes On You. This is a pivotal moment in the story of Lewis, I don't know, I keep wanting to say Lewis Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton, watch too much F1. This is a key pivotal moment in Alexander Hamilton's story. This is right before the battle for the Yorktown in Virginia. This is the moment when George Washington calls upon his right hand man to help him in that battle to take the independence of the United States into their own hands. I know that we can win. I know that greatness lies in you. But remember from here on in, history has its eyes on you. This is such a deep set of lyrics. This few lines showcases you the importance of that moment, that portion of life in Alexander Hamilton's and George Washington's history, that portion in the history of the United States and pretty much the entire world. Everything went down in that particular year, in that particular week on that battlefield. The profoundness of this song is in the punchline. History has its eyes on you. Think of the moment. Think of the fact that you are Lewis Hamilton on that battlefield and think back to some of the things that we're dealing with back in the day or today in our life. The projects, the businesses, the important decisions we make in our personal lives. Every single time we stress so much about them, but at the end of the day, even if we miserably fail at it, the worst what will happen is a few people will remember about it for a couple of days, maybe a week, maybe a year, but guaranteed that 10 years from now, no one will remember about your failures at work, your failures on social media, your failures in your personal life. For Alexander Hamilton, that specific moment when he stands on that battlefield, he knows and he realizes that depending on which way they push the tide of that war, history will remember it for the recorded period of time until the history itself exists, until the recordings of that battle and of the United States exist. Everyone will remember the outcome of that battle. Huh? Do you still think that that thing that you're right now working on is that important and puts that much pressure on you? You don't know what pressure is. But to me, that's empowering. That's empowering because it reminds me, again, the scale and puts things in perspective. Some of the things that I'm dealing with at the end of the day in the grand scheme of this world do not matter. They're unimportant and it also on the flip side reminds me that I should really be focused on things that can make an impact. Things that will be remembered in history. I know it sounds like a loud statement. It sounds like almost like I'm thinking too much about myself. But no, this is how I want to push myself to move forward. I want to achieve at least one or two things in this life to make an impact on this world. And we do that, by the way. We can do that with smaller gestures and smaller steps like helping a couple of people in our lives, voting, running for the office, working with charities, working with movements, trying to end racism, trying to end different kind of injustices in this world to make the future a better place for all of us. We have to be better. We have to push ourselves, push the society, push everyone in the society to be better. At the end of the day, the history has its eyes on all of us. So we must and we can be wise with our decisions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Satisfied. The third song that I want to dive deeper on, and this is by far my favorite song in this entire musical. You strike me as a woman that have never been satisfied. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. You forget yourself. I'm like you. I'm never satisfied. Is that right? I've never been satisfied. Uh, 
In any case, first and foremost, I cannot imagine this song being performed by anyone else but Renee Elise Goldsberry. She's amazing. The range of emotions that she shows in general between the helpless and the satisfied songs, which are back-to-back -back songs in that initial act in Hamilton, it's also how she delivers them. It's also the way she flows through the rap sections of that song. It's just amazing. Beautiful. Cannot stress enough how amazing that entire performance was and it was well deserved that all the awards that she got and hopefully will receive going forward after this now theatrical kind of release on the streaming service. And the second thing is that how much I relate personally with the lyrics and with the whole notion of not being satisfied. It does not have any relation to one particular object, subject matter, any particular feeling and not being satisfied within that realm, but rather it's the feeling that you carry throughout your life. It's been a debate with a lot of my friends in the past, and I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of these conversations, including some of the debates potentially here in the comment section. but. Pure example, I have a very good friend who has a few goals in his life and he's kind of like working towards them and he's 100% certain that once he hits them and he's almost there, that's it. He's gonna call it, he's gonna kind of cruise through the rest of his life enjoying the time with the kids, enjoying the work and his hobby and that is it. And to me that just like blows my mind because why would you waste your potential? Life is short but also long in the sense of how many years you get and throughout those years you get to try out and experience so many different things you get to participate in so many different events jobs projects you meet people you talk to people you inspire people why would you waste your time by just stopping and retiring that does not make sense you have to be unsatisfied at every stage of your life and that's what it means is that whenever you achieve something you're not just satisfied with the achievement and you stop you right away switch to the mode of I'm not satisfied and you move to the next thing. You search continuously for that point of satisfaction and you know that you will never achieve that. A lot of people feel like it's a rat race then because it almost describes that you know feeling of being in a hamster wheel. But to me, that's not how you should be really looking at the situation, at your life in general. In your life, and I'll steal Casey Neistat's reference here, There's also nothing material about that. Like I can care less about the material things. I can care less about expensive cars, yachts. I can care less about the titles or some sort of awards. All I want is to really make a positive impact on this world. So think about your own life. You have pretty much two options. At the end of the day, it will all end up in either of the two buckets. You'll either be the kind of person who went through their lives, consumed products, produced products, breathed air, created other things and just went into the ground and that's it you are forgotten it's n not like anything ever happened like there was no positive effect on this world you were just net zero and hopefully not a negative impact or you can be the person who really tried through their life to make it a better place for the future generations to have some form of an impact whether it's a cultural impact whether it's a financial impact whether it's discovering something new producing something new whether it's inspiring future generations to continue that motion forward two buckets which one do you think you belong to and why don't you want to belong to that second bucket of actually being someone who improves the life for everyone I want to be in the second bucket. I created to a large extent this channel to make that positive impact, especially when I realized I'm going to be a parent and now with two kids in my hands, so to speak, I want the world to be a better place for them and I want them to make it a better place for their kids and their kids and so on. So yes, I will never be satisfied. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Did you like the deeper meaning behind these three songs? Wait, have you even seen Hamilton? And if not, what are you waiting for? And if yes, share what were your favorite songs and the meanings behind them or the meaning that you perceived behind them in the comment section below. All this talk about the songs got me feeling like, do I want to watch Hamilton again? <laughs> I'm sure I will, or at least I'll listen to some of my favorite parts and some of my favorite songs in the near future. In the meantime, God knows I do not have another three hours to spare at this moment. But what I love about this musical at the end of the day is A, 
I'm very much inspired by the hard work that Lin-Manuel Miranda invested into this project. This is truly his passion, this is his baby. This is what it takes to make an impact on the society. You have to spend, in his case, what it looks like 16 years to continuously make an impact on the world. And for us, it does not have to be that monumentous. Sometimes all you really have to do to make an impact is to inspire others, or maybe to write a word, a line, a song, to start the movement and push that needle slightly forward for the future generation. Thank you very much guys for stopping by. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and check out the videos in the backlog. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for stopping by. As always, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this video. And I will see you all next Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern on this very channel. Also, let's recognize how freaking amazing, if you watched Hamilton, was that entire sequence between the winter ball, the helpless, and then satisfied. Like, this is when that rotating platform on their stage shine, just chef's kiss. It's really amazing, beautiful. I was just in awe. And again, how Rene Goldsberry drove that performance at the end just <clears throat> left me speechless. I was literally just like clapping in the middle of my living room how much I enjoyed that performance. And also speaking of not necessarily being satisfied and recognizing too many things, maybe I should have done something better. But to me, that's a very valued way of saying thank you to all of you guys who actually made it to this part of the video and hopefully have been with me for a little while because by the time you see this i think it's around wednesday that week when you're going to watch this video marks three years since the first upload to this channel it's exciting yeah it's been like what 100 yeah, 114 videos in this set alone a few videos here and there beyond that crazy Time flies and I'm not satisfied. I'm gonna continue pushing with this channel and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Peace.